Hey everybody, how we doing today? Today I want to talk about um, an ETF called VT, that's the ticker symbol. The ETF is the Vanguard Total World Index Fund. So what you're getting there is all the stocks basically in the world, which is I believe is a little over 9,000. That's a lot of stocks. So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. First of all, it's Vanguard, so the expense ratio is low. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Vanguard ETFs, you know, really almost at all. So let's see what we got here. First of all, okay, so since it owns all the stocks, I mean, you know, you're getting both. There's only two things I don't like about it. You're getting the bad with the good. You get the, all the great stocks and all the bad stocks too, okay? And the only other thing I don't like, I, mean, I love this. I love this ETF, but the only other thing I don't like about it is you're buying the whole pie. So if you're older like I am, so let's say you're older and, um, you know, let's say, you know, okay, say, and like, let's say it's this year and the return in America was 20% and the return internationally was uh, 10%. Well, maybe when you're older, you know, you want to uh, sell the stuff that did well and not sell the stuff that didn't do good. And then a total world index fund, you can't do that. But that's the only two things I don't like about it. Everything else I love about it. And it's got a dividend. You know I love dividends. The dividend yield right now is 2.04%, so a nice dividend. Um, the inception date is 2008, June 24th. Um, let's tell you what else we got here. I'm just on Yahoo Finance looking at this, by the way, um, through Microsoft Edge. Um, and let's see here. So let's go to holdings. And what we have here is a breakdown of the sector weightings of this ETF. Okay, and what do we got here is, um, I'll just you know call it the big ones. There's about, what, 11? Yeah, and um, so the biggest weightings, the biggest one is financials, 16%. And the next biggest one is uh, healthcare, which is uh, just about 12%, which I really like. Healthcare is a, a big one of mine. And technology, oh, excuse me, technology is the biggest with 18%. So that's really good, you know. So it's pretty diversified, you know, all over the place. Uh, even a little real estate, 3.5%. So let's see, what do we got here? Price to earnings is 15. Price to book, 2.29. Um, price to cash flow, 11.54. So yeah, um, and let's see, oh, I love this. These are the top 10 holdings of the Vanguard Total World um, Index, okay? Um, let's see. So all 10 comprise of 14.63%, the top 10. Think about that, out of 9,000, so 14%. So number one, no surprise, Apple, 3.71%. Number two is Microsoft, 3%. Um, and then we have Amazon, at 1%, 1.74%, and then Facebook, and then Tesla, and then Google, which says Alphabet, Class A, and then Class C, and then the United Health Group, and then Johnson & Johnson, and then NVIDIA. So really solid, you know, really solid. That, that's pretty solid to have over 9,000 stocks in this ETF, and 14.63% are all, well, American stocks. So that's really good. So I like that. Um, let's see what else we got here. We talked about the yield. Um, I mean, I, I really, you know, I never heard of this before about six months ago, and then some YouTubers were talking about it, and I checked it out. And the more I learn about it, the more I like it. At first, I wasn't that thrilled about it. Now I really like it. Um, let's go to performance. This is really interesting when you go to performance. Because a lot of people think, oh, it's not going to do that good. You know, it's, uh, it's okay. No, it's, it's man, it's, it's pretty good. When we go to, let's see, let's see, let's see. When we go to annual total return percent history. So the annual total return of history, return, excuse me, percentage history from 2008 to 2022. I mean, throughout 18, 18, 19, like 14 years. There's only three years when it went down. So 11, it went up. And the most it ever went down 
check this out, it was 2022 and 17.99%. The most it ever went up was 2009, 33%. And I mean, it, this is really impressive. I'm really, you know, I mean, you know, it's hard to go wrong with this. Like I said, there's only two things I don't like about it. And that's not that much to complain about. One of them is just my, my age. So, you know, um, yeah, I, I am in full support of this ETF. I mean, especially if you only want like one and you don't want a whole bunch of stuff to invest and you just want something simple. Oh, man, this is it. Because I think you could even, for, depending on your age, forego a lot of bonds and just say, well, forget the bonds. You know, I'm in everything. I'm in everything. Everything in every country. Every single stock there's, I mean, that's pretty diversified, you know? So you could even say, which, because you're going to get a better return from international than you are bonds anyhow. So, you know, if you're an all international, oh man, right? So, yeah, um, I am really, I am really excited about, about this one. This is really good. I don't own any right now, um, but I'm thinking of buying some because this is just, this is total diversification. This is all the stocks there are. So I don't think you can go wrong with this. I mean, this is really cool. So I don't have a whole lot to say about this one because, like I said, it's every single stock. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> what do you say about that? But, yeah, I think you, you, you're you going to do great if you invest just in this. And it's going to be, you know, pretty safe. It's got a great, great track record. Now, I'm not saying you're going to beat the market with it. Remember, beating the market is a whole different animal. When you're a lot older, you're not really that worried about, you know, you want to, to beat the market, but you're not that worried about it because you got to have some safety. This gives you a lot of safety without having bonds because it's got international in there. And I believe the breakdown to international to U.S. is like 64% international. I'm, I'm sorry, 64% U.S., 36% um, international. So, basically. So, there we go. That's it. That's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for being here and putting up with me. And bless each and every one of you. Um, it means the world to me, you watching my videos and being part of this channel. Thank you so much. Peace.